All right, so that's just like introductory stuff. Let's talk about radiosity. Uh, let's give a, a formal definition of what radiosity is in, in these sort of terms that we've now defined. So radiosity for surface I, we'll call this J sub I. By the way, the units on this, radiosity are watts uh, per meter squared. Uh, this is equal to, uh, let's see, one times, uh, sorry, one minus uh, epsilon I times GI uh, plus epsilon I times EB I. So let's label this. This term here, this first one, is reflected, uh, reflected power. And the second term here, this is emitted power. Uh, and then let's see, we have emissivity. We have GI is irradiation. Uh, and then this EBI, as you know, is black body emissive power. Okay, so where did this come from? It's just the, the energy balance. We're saying for a given node I, uh, the radiosity is com composed of this reflected power part. So it's like everything that's coming in to the surface times the ref effective reflectivity. Right? So this all assumes that transmissivity is zero, right? So what's reflected? Well, it's one minus epsilon times the irradiation. So that's what's gonna be reflected out. And then what's going to be emitted is just our basic uh, black body emissive power times the emissivity of that surface, okay? So this is like what the, the radiosity it's leaving surface I. Uh, we can maybe extend this a little bit if we think about a surface energy balance. So let me just draw like another surface here. Draw another surface. And then uh, what I'm, let's say down here, like so down here is like a metal plate or something like that. And what I'm saying is let's draw like a, a infinitely thin control surface around this, uh, this body here, right? Control surface. And we think about this definition of irradiation. So you have the coming in, you have GI times uh, say the area. So some of that's gonna be reflected. And then you have what's emitted. So this is uh, epsilon I times uh, EBI times AI. Uh, we could also have um, maybe heat transfer across the surface, right? So heat transfer across the surface here would be some Q dot, so Q dot I. Question? Yeah, why does the reflect, uh, reflected power term not include transmissibility? Um, it would have to, so, let's see. What we would have to do is somehow modify this equation. Well, let me step back. So what, this, what the radiosity equation is capturing is like the total light that's leaving this surface, right, surface I. So if we, uh, make, if we formulate it in this way where we say the amount that's leaving is equal to one minus emissivity, that's assuming that there's no transmissivity component because theoretically it could be, okay, what's absorbed, what's transmitted, uh, and then uh, what's, uh, uh, the absorbed part is going to have to be re-emitted, right? So I was saying that very clearly, but let me say it this way. So if we, if we needed to include uh, transmissivity, this, there'd have to be something else in here. Or you have to have that transmissivity term in here to capture that. Does that make sense? Yeah, so that equation is assuming that the transmissivity is zero. Yeah, yeah. The, this equation assumes, this whole thing assumes uh, tau is equal, tau i equals zero. Uh, so it's like an energy balance, basically. Um, other, other questions on this so far? Okay, so just continuing the thought down here. So we have this surface, we draw a surface balance on it. Uh, so we, oops, sorry, we have heat transfer going maybe across the surface. So we can rewrite this uh, radiosity equation using this idea of uh, the surface balance and say, all right, GI times AI, that's my irradiation uh, component plus uh, Q dot I, as I've drawn it coming in, minus J I uh, 
uh, AI. And so JI AI is going to be the combination of that little vector I, I uh, showed that's reflected off plus what's emitted. Right? That's the radiosity. So we're just going to multiply that by the area. Uh, all of that has to equal zero. Right? We're conserving energy. So if I just rearrange this, this is just saying Q dot I is equal to JI AI minus GI AI. Okay, so energy balance involving radiosity. Right? These are all just definitions that, you, that we can then use to develop a system of equations. So again, what this is saying is I have heat transfer across the surface, like through a node. If you go back to our network up here, this is like the, the heat transfer through that node is sort of entering into the radiation problem or leaving the radiation problem. Uh, that's what's being captured down here. Okay, so we're gonna use this. Uh, we're gonna ma uh, manipulate it a little bit and hopefully find a way to express this in terms of stuff that we actually know about the problem. There's our radiosity equation. So this is, I think, what I just wrote, uh, more or less. Um, what let's do now is just rearrange this in terms of irradiation, G. So if we rearrange uh, and solve for G, we get G I to uh, go out as radiosity or go out as emitted power. So this would be uh, saying J I minus epsilon I times E B I divided by one minus epsilon I. Uh, so now what we can do is take this uh, G equation and let's sub that into this um, energy balance up here. Right, so that G I up there, let's just sub it in. So that just looks like this, Q dot I equals J I A I minus subbing this in, we get J I minus Epsilon I, uh, E B, sorry, E B I over one minus Epsilon I times A I. Okay, so then uh, let's simplify this a little bit further. So this, uh, the right hand side here becomes uh, J I A I. We can pull that out of both of the terms. Um, let's, uh, anticipating a step here, we have uh, one over epsilon i in the denominator on the right hand side. So what I want to do is like kind of bring both these terms together, get a single equation. So I'm going to multiply that first term by one minus epsilon i over one minus epsilon i. So we're not changing the res result, but then we can add things together. So one minus epsilon i, one minus epsilon i, uh, and then minus this whole thing over here still. So j i minus epsilon i e b i, one minus epsilon i. Oh, don't forget my AI over here. <clears throat> then what we can do is, uh, let's write out this expanded equation. So Q dot I is equal to, the numerator is gonna be J I A I minus J I A I epsilon I minus J I A I plus epsilon I A I E B I all that divided by one minus epsilon i. Okay, we can cancel some stuff out. So that is this term, this term. I can bring the area out in front. Uh, I can bring the one minus epsilon. So this, this goes out in front, this goes out in front. One minus epsilon goes out in front. And I can rewrite this as uh, Q dot I equals A I epsilon I over one minus epsilon I times E B I minus J I. Okay. So why did I do that? Well, which is, is now a recurring theme in this class, but, but this looks like what, right? This looks like heat transfer in terms of some resistance multiplying some potential. So for the last time, I will say that. Heat transfer times the resistance times the potential. The potential here now is related to like the black body emissive power and the radiosity. 
So now we have this rate equation that's relating black body power and radiosity in terms of this, this resistance-like thing. Okay, so it's maybe not clear like how physically this all relates. First of all, like black body emissive power is kind of a squishy concept. Like what does that really mean? Radiosity is even worse. Like understanding what that stuff physically means is, is kind of difficult. So, you know, you have to stick with the process to kind of see how it goes through. But let's maybe parse this a little bit further uh, because what you're gonna get out of this is uh, kind of a methodology you can use to evaluate these problems. So let's just make a note here that this, this again is like one over resistance. This here is like a potential. Okay. Let's deal first with the surface resistance. I guess, any questions on this before I move on? Okay. So let's deal first with the surface resi resistance. Um, so what I've got written out here for you already is how I propose to uh, describe the surface resistance. It's a little hard to see, but this, this here is surface resistance. It's R superscript S surface I. The units on that are again one, uh, one over meters squared. What is the surface resistance? Well, obviously it's related to the emissivity and it's related to the area. So it's kind of like the geometric resistance where we had one over the area times the view factor. But here this is involving an emissivity. Describe what, what's happening with the surface resistance is if, I was, if it was a black body and it could emit, it would emit all the possible light that it, it that uh, all the possible energy that it could at a given temperature. We know when you multiply by emissivity that the amount of energy goes down. So it's sort of like an impedance, right? It's some res extra resistance to the flow of energy related to the emissivity. So here what we have is a surface resistance, which is a measure of how much the properties of the emissivity in that surface impede heat flow, okay? is there really a resistance at the surface? Like, not really. It's not really like a conduction problem or anything like that. But these are all just like constructs that help us solve the problem. So here we, we say, okay, there's a theoretical maximum. The theoretical maximum is re reduced a little bit by the emissivity, and we describe that according to the surface resistance, okay? So we'll denote it with S just to keep it separate from uh, RG or just plain old R. But the units here are the same as the units for the geometric resistance. Okay, so we have the surface resistance. Um, what, what can we maybe notice about this? So uh, when, oops, let's see, when emissivity uh, goes to one, what happens here? So we have this situation, it'd be one minus one, right, emissivity of one over AI times one. Uh, so this goes to zero, All right? Resistance goes to zero. Uh, so that sort of makes sense, like intuitively, I guess you, when it's a black surface, there's no impedance to heat flow compared to the theoretical, so there's zero resistance there. Right? So, so that kind of makes sense. Uh, but mathematically, like we kind of have to sort out what happens here. So let's say, take, take, uh, taking this, uh, putting it into the energy equation, Q dot I. So let's, this would be EB uh, I minus JI over RSI. So I'm saying here the resistance is going to zero. Right? What does that do to my equation? Well, it kind of messes it up, right? Uh, dividing the potential by zero uh, means that I'm going to have an infinite heat transfer rate. So instead of dividing it by zero, let's maybe take an intermediate step and multiply over here. So RS, RSI times uh, Q dot I is equal to EBI minus JI. So in fact, what I'm saying is, okay, if RS goes to zero, then Q dot can still be a finite value. Right? It could be some number. There can be some uh, specific heat transfer across the surface, uh, but it's saying that EB and J are the same thing. 
So from this, we conclude EBI is equal to JI in the event that emissivity is 1. Okay. How we use this is eventually we draw a resistance network, and we would say, like, okay, uh, EB or J are used at a given node, and we would then uh, go through the process and decide is it zero resistance or not. All right, so, but for now, you can see that at least if we know that there's no resistance, that blackbody emissive power and radiosity are the same thing. 